So while I, while I read you a story, just, just stay in this meditative state and kind of apply the story while you hear it. It's titled on how to become love. Gurdjieff used the I am method. Work deeply on I am whatever you are doing. Drinking water, eating, remember I am. Do not forget it. When you walk, remember I am. Let the walking be there, but be fixed on I am. I am. I am. Let this be constant in your awareness. Then it will begin to penetrate your sleep also. Gurdjieff worked on this method continuously. His chief disciple, Uspensky, relates that when Gurdjieff was working with him on this method and he was practicing for three months continuously, the remembering of I am, I am, I am, everything stopped. Thoughts, dreaming, everything stopped. Only one note, like music, remained. I am. But it was not an effort. This was a spontaneous activity going on. I am. Then Gurdjieff called Uspensky out of the house. For three months, he had been kept inside and was not allowed to go out. Then Guruji said, Come with me. They were living in a Russian town of Tiflis. They went out into the street. Uspensky writes in his diary, For the first time I could understand what Jesus meant when he said that man is asleep. The whole city looked to me as if asleep. People were moving in their sleep. Shopkeepers were selling in their sleep. Customers buying in their sleep. The whole city was asleep. I looked over at Gurdjieff, only he was awake. The whole city around us was asleep. They were angry, biting, they were loving, buying, selling, doing, everything. Uspensky said, I could see their faces, their eyes. They were asleep. The inner center was missing. It was not there. Uspensky said to Guruji, I do not want to go there anymore. What happened to the city? Everyone seems asleep, drugged. Gurdjieff said, Nothing has happened to the city. Something has happened to you. You have been undrugged. The city remains the same. It's the same place you moved into three months ago, but you couldn't see that other people were asleep because you were also asleep. Now you can see because a certain quality of awareness has come to you. With three months of practicing I am continuously, you have become aware in a very short matter of time. You have become aware. A part of your consciousness has gone beyond dreaming. That is why you can see that everyone is asleep, dead, moving, drugged, as if hypnotized. Uspensky says, I could not bear this phenomenon. Everyone asleep. Whatsoever they are doing, they are not responsible for it. They are not. How can they be responsible? He came back and asked Gurdjieff, What is this? Am I deceived somehow? Have you done something to me that the whole city seems to sleep? I cannot believe my eyes. But this will happen to anyone. If you can remember yourself, then you will know that no one is remembering himself. And in this way, each one goes on moving. The whole world is asleep, but start while you are awake. 
any moment that you start, I am. I do not mean that you have to repeat the words I am, but have the feeling. Take a bath and feel I am. Let the touch of the cold shower be there and let yourself be there behind, feeling it and remembering I am. Remembering I am, not saying that verbally you have to repeat I am. You can repeat it, but that repetition will not give you awareness. Repetition may even create more sleep. So this I am, the remembering of I am, is not a verbal mantra. Feel it. Be sensitive to your being. When you touch someone else's hand, do not only touch it, but feel it. Feel your touch also. While you eat, feel yourself eating as well. This feeling will penetrate deeper and deeper into your mind. One day, suddenly you are awake at your own center, functioning for the first time. And then the whole world becomes a dream. And then you know that your dreaming is a dreaming. And when you know that your dreaming is a dreaming, dreaming stops. It can continue only if it's felt to be real. It is stopped if it is felt as unreal. And once dreaming stops, you are a different man. The old man is dead. The sleepy man is dead. That human being which you were, you are no more. For the first time, you become aware. For the first time in the whole world that is asleep, you are awake. You become a Buddha, an awakened one. After this awakening, there is no misery. After this awakening, there is no death. Through this awakening, there is no more fear. You become for the first time free of everything. To be free of sleep, to be free of dreaming, is to be free of everything. Hate, greed, anger, all disappear. You attain freedom. You become just love. I am. And you can notice now how you can either be aware of thinking or you can be aware of I am. But in that moment of pristine recognition of I am, there is an intensity to your presence, to your self-awareness that does not allow thoughts in, not really. Perhaps on the surface they are there, but the more pristine, the more intense the awareness of I am, the more the dream world of thought merges in the heart and disappears into God, into isness, into love, into freedom. You are bound by the dream that you dream, thinking it is real, when only I am is real. Everything is I am. I am is everything. Deeper and deeper into the I am. That is to be awake, to be beyond the matrix. Wake up, Neo. You've never used these muscles before. 
you've been in a spiritual coma. Generate that I am sense muscle, which has been underutilized. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all else shall be added unto you.